is good everybody welcome to another my damn toys video today we're back with another two in one wwe elite figure review on elite series 95 bobby lashley and big e very cool because they're both wwe champion they both come with titles they both have wwe titles and their render images pretty cool i think it's awesome I, I love to see this now they are both repaints i don't know how many of you clicked on this video but i'm actually excited for the big e more than the bobby lashley the bobby lashley is pretty much a repaint you know it's it's a, i mean they're both repaints let's be honest but we do have double jointed arms with big e we have a beautiful looking bobby lashley if you guys missed out on elite series 89 we are going to get into the comparisons i really wish they would have went with the red tights or the white tights or at least made him the chase variant so that you could have seen the you know the one of those tight selections as the chase but it could have been a simple repaint just give us white tights with black logos instead of black tights again with white logos but i am intrigued to see what we got going on of course with everything going on we're going to get into the comparisons break all of the stuff down but we have two wwe champions here if you guys would like to grab these champs you can do so over at ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent but here's the front viewing window one of them flexing one of them just holding up the title there you got biggie and bobby lashley both of them beautiful jacked men there, looking good front viewing window there on the side you got the images of the men again on the back you get image shots of the talent you got the little bio read there if you'd like to pause it you can pause it and read it and do the stuff on the other side you got bobby lashley Ashley and Biggie's names, WWE Elite Series 95, and that pretty much wraps it up, man. We are going to crack these guys out, see how their details are, see how their gear remains, and compare them to some of their former figures. So let's do that now. So here's Bobby Lashley and Biggie out of their packaging, man. Gonna be honest with you, pretty pissed off about something in particular, and we'll get into it, but I think that these attires are really clean. I really, really do. I like that we finally have a Biggie in double-jointed arm, you know, figure form, but I, I do have my gripes. I got a really big gripe, actually, about one of these figures, and we're gonna get into that, but we're gonna dive into their accessories and their figures themselves, of course, like we always do. Get into some comparisons, dive into all the details, and we will break it all down here for you. So with that being said, let's dive into i guess let's do bobby first let's get into bobby and then we'll get into uh, big biggie biggie and bobby nice tag team name bobby lashley's accessories i mean it's just like biggie very plain jane you get yet again another wwe championship i probably have mm, i don't know 900 of these but tons of wwe titles we get another one here they're pretty much identical i think like this is both of them up next to each other the bottom one came with bobby and the top one came with biggie and yeah they look identical how sick would it be if both of them had like side plates designed for specifically them think that's the next step you know, at least you get a different WWE title, but I guess they're trying to eliminate it where, you know, if you buy, say you only have the Big E and then you have a Big E WWE World Heavyweight Championship and then you want to put that title on somebody else in your fig fed or, you know, your display or something, then you don't have another version of it. It's just you only have the Big E. Maybe include swappable side plates where you can literally unplug this. I don't know. Not that hard to switch. It's just, I don't know. It's just a thought. Let me know what you think. But outside of that, you also get Mike holding hands. The right hand is black tape and then the left has no tape and then he actually has fist that comes with him as well so imagine the fist mold in this skin tone the right hand has black tape and the left one does not i just didn't feel like getting it off because i mean it's just plain jane brad nothing so getting into bobby lashley man starting out at the top of the head sculpt same head sculpt that we saw on our last bobby lashley figure except he's not looking to the right which i think is better i think this is an upgrade to that figure for that reason just because i don't like my figures looking off to the left or right i think it should be straight ahead all the time because it, the, the, it can make for some really awkward situations with the figure and trying to pose him and get him to look at the camera, but head sculpt looks good. Eyes look cleaner than last time. Torso looks good. Same arms and torso we saw on his last few elites. I think it looks just like Bobby Lashley's physique. A freakish human. Absolute unit. One of the best physiques in all of WWE history, I would say. He's definitely top 10 all-time WWE wrestlers ever in physique. Man, is a freaking unit. Black wrist tape, which looks good. There's the hand tape fist I was talking about. You got the black and white going on nice belt designs on there you do get him here which is weird he's got the point logo here that he's always had but no pointing finger hands you have the almighty logo over here in white and black ah i can't get over not getting the white gear with the black text and black logos or the red gear would have been way better anyway no knee pads on the guy but he does have his sweet ass multi-strap boots which i've covered in extension as far as the best boots of all time they're up there man but this figure is very it's just a repaint man it's just a repaint of the elite 89 and you know we're, we're about to find out what that's all about because 
let's get into some Bobby Lashley figure comparison. So here you go, Brad. You have your Elite 69 Bobby, your new Elite 95 Bobby, and then the Elite 89 Bobby. Very good Bobbies. You know, Bobby Lashley, when I was a kid, I adored him. I still like him. I know I call him Bobby Trashley. It's just because he can't cut a promo. It's just like, you know, playful, you know, tongue-in-cheek style deal. But I like these figures a lot. They're actually really good. I don't think he has a bad figure. I know he also has the Royal Rumble Elite, which I never found or anything. But that's kind of like his Ruthless Aggression look, which is pretty easy to make anyway. But yeah, I, yeah, it's not the best. You know, I, I don't hate it. I think it'd be kind of a cool fix-up to get Bobby Lashley. Like, get another one of these. If I see this at retail, I'll probably get another one and then put like some Dolph Ziggler boots on him or something. Or try to flip the colors, get him white boots with black straps instead of the black straps with white instead of the black boots with white straps but yeah this is cool to see i like this and you guys can see here in the head sculpts this one's looking forward this one's looking forward and this one's looking to the right so this one's better in my opinion so getting into Big E's accessories you get mic holding hands and then you get sort of his like uh, i don't even know what you want to call these like handshaking Kawhi leonard ricochet you guys get the point they're really big flat hands like handshaking or hands behind the head whatever you want to say i mean the, there's multiple reasons to clap hands you know new day rocks like there's so there's so many different hands you can use these for and then you also get a wwe champion championship which we've seen a hundred times that's it you don't get any cloth shirts or anything like that i feel like they could have definitely included an interchangeable head or or something because it's really plain jane but you get a wwe title which i guess makes the world go around but interchangeable hands mic holding and these and then wwe title and that's that's it man nothing nothing else to it so gonna get a big e man pretty much the same as bob you know it's just a repaint you do get the double jointed arm treatment but you have the same head sculpt we've seen before you know nothing outside the norm there i do like this this gear like the tealish with the silver and the grays and the blues with the white contrast really pops off i think white wrist tape would have done it more justice because the white boots really tie it all together but uh it's still sweet I, I like it you know everything like that nice designs going on i don't know if it's like a specific reference or something like that but you do have the double joint arms now this is where my complaints come in this right here man this shoulder is just busted as hell it won't go out and it's so loose it is so loose the bicep is loose it's just a travesty man oh god so that does suck uh, i got a little paint chip not like too too terrible but i like the figure I, I aesthetically very very nice you know he doesn't have knee pads white boots are super clean i'm sure that i could you know make a cool fix up or something with this figure considering all the different biggies that we have and speaking of all the different biggies that we have bro let's get into our biggie figure comparisons as i try to get him straight so for your biggie figure comparisons guys here's all the different new day pretty much big e's you know this is kind of a singles if you technically think about it right like a singles wwe champion run but then you have your six new day elites and then you also have his other two singles elite biggies that we got in the white gear and then the red gear so if you add all of them up we have like nine big e elites and then you also have the one coming in elite 98 so technically we have 10 big e elites that is insane that's crazy not that he doesn't deserve it it's just insane to even think about and it's kind of cool to see all the different repaints and head sculpts and stuff that we've seen over the years this one doesn't have a neck, but you know, yeah, this is our first double jointed arm one, and then we're getting the Elite 98. Hopefully, that one will be better. Looking at this, I feel like this gear would probably look really good with the yellow boots. I think that this gear would look better with these boots. I think that this gear could look good. I think all of them could look good with the white boots. The white boots would look good on all these. I think uh, these yellow boots, I want to say, I can't remember if they came with this figure. I put them over here, or if they came, or if I put light blue on this one, or if it came that way. I can't remember, but yeah, you get the point. They, they all look pretty fresh. And Big E's got a lot of figures, man. It's kind of insane, again, to, to even talk about that he just had... He has 10 elites. Crazy. But that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite 95 review of Big E and Bobby Lashley, man. Really disappointed in the Big E for the simple fact of the, the loose shoulder because it really is a solid figure. I know it's a repeat head sculpt. It's just a repaint, and it just has double-jointed arms. But I like the attire a lot. I really like the white boots. I'm going to have to get another one of these figures to see if the shoulder is loose. I hope that it's not just a running issue. I hope you guys don't have a problem with your shoulder. Please let me know down below if you guys grab the elite 95 big e figure please let me know down below if you have a loose shoulder but i enjoy the gear i really really do i think it's a great figure for a moment in time where he got to celebrate his wwe champion really looking forward to the elite 98 i think the head sculpt's really strong and it's kind of wild that we're getting big e's back to back like that but big e's the kind of guy that has a lot of figures now especially when you add these two to the the long list of new day figures and then you had his two singles one before that i mean big e's got quite a few elites you'd actually be mind blown how many elites he has now but by Bobby Lashley is just a repaint of his last figure. I already had two or three of that one. Now adding this one. This one is more of a singles 
WWE Champion, Bobby Lashley, over like a Hurt Business version. Really wish we would have got the white gear, the red gear. I, I have to keep stating that because I think it was a real miss not doing that. Getting this leg mold in, in white would have been really big. I think that it would have created a, a better, it would have created much bigger differences between the last Bobby and this Bobby. And this, this Bobby Lashley is just very, very similar to that one. I mean, it's legitimately just some different deco and that's about it. And that, that just sucks, man, because it, it could have been so much better, but it's still a very good figure. The Elite 89 Bobby Lashley is very damn good. This one's very damn good. It's just, it's it's kind of plain Jane and boring because we've already seen it, and that's kind of the extent of it, you know, and that's all I can really say, and that's just the cold hard facts. I think I actually like this one better because I like black and white as a cool attire over the Hurt Business version, but that's probably just me, to be honest with you. A lot of people are probably going to shish on this figure and prefer the Hurt Business version, but you guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys missed out on our other Elite 95 reviews, John Cena, Eddie Guerrero, Shotzi Blackheart, Jimmy Uso, definitely go check those out. I posted up Jimmy and Shotzi today as well as this one. I posted both of them just because I wanted you guys to have both of them in the same day because we have other videos we got to get to and there's just so much content coming and I can't be waiting around, man. I got to get these videos out so you guys can see the full waves. But before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout out before I have a conniption. And this shout out is going to go to Hugh Janus. Nice. I feel like Eddie could get away with bigger arms because he was low key jacked but other than that it's a great figure regardless and yeah i agree with you brad that i i'm definitely right there with you i, I agree with that I, I even wanted to mention the same thing if i didn't mention that in my review i was going to mention it uh you know those arms are kind of skinny they do the same thing with uh, with a bunch of guys with that arm mold because adam cole has the same arm mold as seth rollins and so i mean i guess it's always been like that but that eddie guerrero has the same arm mold as adam cole and so on and so forth finn balor you know what i'm saying so like the arm changes aren't massive unless it's like a big weight distribution between the two talents like Bobby Lashley's arms over here are bigger than you know Finn Balor's in his figure and then Big E's over here are bigger than Bobby Lashley's as you guys can see so that just kind of depends on the weight of the guy how big the guy is the girth and all that different stuff but huge shout out to Hugh Janus nice love that gotta love Hugh Janus love me some Hugh Janus but I'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel have a blessed day and let me know your thoughts down below and please let me know if your shoulder of your Big E is loose I'm getting the hell out of here Cross the line, I've been...